Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. After a hectic day conquering the hate speech workshop, which we have collaborated again with the UN office here in Guyana, here we move towards another initiative. The Ethnic Relations Commission is delighted to announce our collaboration with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, as we embark on an exciting journey to implement the e-monitoring tool. This partnership represents a significant advancement in our ongoing efforts to monitor and address racially and ethnically offensive remarks on social media. A crucial component of our commitment to fostering harmony and good relations within our society. Currently, the ERC's Media Monitoring Unit, we refer to it as the MMU, diligently observes various platforms, including television, newspapers, and social media to identify instances of racial and ethnic infractions, commonly referred to as hate speech. Until now, this monitoring has relied on manual processes, which, while effective, are limited in reach. From August to December 23, after reactivating our media monitoring unit, we documented 116 infractions. I repeat, August to December 23, 116 infractions. In the first nine months of tw this year, 24, we have identified 163 infractions. We still have under three months to complete 24, and we have already surpassed, well, in some way, 23. The majority occurring on social media. These statistics underscore the urgent need to tackle hate speech within our society particularly as we approach the critical period of the 25, 2025 general elections. In light of these trends, the ERC has launched a proactive countering hate speech campaign aimed at reducing racial and ethnic violations in the lead up to the 25 elections. The e-monitoring tool will be instrumental in enhancing our capacity to capture a wider reach of content. This innovative automated system will efficiently identify keywords and phrases that are racially, ethnically offensive allowing us to respond more swiftly and effectively. Importantly, while the e-monitoring tool will automate much of the data collection, we will maintain a manual verification process to ensure accuracy and appropriateness in our response. This will enable us to issue cautionary warnings or escalate matters to our investigative unit for further consideration, another department within the ERC, thus ensuring a thorough and fair approach to addressing infractions. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to the United Nations Development Program, Guyana, and all individuals in bringing involved 
in bringing this vital initiative to fruition. That is the e-monitoring tool. And together, we are taking significant steps towards a more harmonious society. The ERC remains steadfast in its commitment to promoting understanding and goodwill among the peoples of Guyana. Thank you. I'm pleased to be here today to really reach this moment of collaboration with the ERC to celebrate the signing of this important uh, agreement between UNDP, Guyana, and the Ethnic Relations Commissions, which is part of a wider UN ERC campaign against countering hate speech. As we approach the 2025 elections, we must confront the pressing issue of information pollution, a spread of false, misleading, manipulated, and otherwise harmful messages that threatens the integrity of democrat democratic processes globally. In an era where misinformation spreads rapidly, the potential for division and conflict increases. Guyana's diverse society is a treasure, but it is important to keep it safe from manipulation that can make, make it vulnerable. Information pollution can exacerbate existing tension, in particular hate speech, sow distrust among communities, and undermine our shared commitment to peaceful coexistence. In this scenario, UNDP, with extensive experience in the field of democratic strengthening, is developing a series of innovative tools to support national, regional, and global efforts to promote information integrity and the resilience of information systems. Similarly, the ERC, being a constitutional entity mandated to promote the elimination of all forms of discrimination, has long recognized the impact of hate speech on societal divisions and is committed to proactive measures to counteract it. As part of the MOU, UNDP will provide comprehensive support to the ERC, including technical assistance to strengthen ERC existing methodologies for mapping and countering disinformation and hate speech, strengthen ERC's capacities to access social media data, providing crucial insights into information pollution, enhancing and enhancing the ERC's technological infrastructure to better respond to these challenges. Central to this initiative is the Digital Kit for Democracy, which includes the powerful e-monitor plus system, a state-of-the-art social media monitoring and analysis tool that leverages artificial intelligence to track and analyze harmful content across various platforms. E-Monitor Plus is deployed simultaneously in various countries in the region and outside the region with different information dynamics, helping establish a standardized language and comparative data collection, analysis and dissemination methodologies so that cross-border dialogue, learning and cooperation can be facilitated. By formalizing this partnership, we can leverage the strengths of both organizations to promote accurate information, foster dialogue, and create awareness about the impact of misinformation. Together, we can empower citizens with the tools they need to critically evaluate information and engage constructively. This MOU, the Memorandum of Understanding, is not just a document, it is a commitment to uphold democratic values and contribute to Guyana's unity. Let us take this crucial step together to promote social cohesion and inclusion and contribute to eradicate hate speech and free people from the shadows of misinformation. Thank you very much. <laughs>